we're moving into a time when they need to be empowered, when they need to be able to get things done. Instead of just focusing on learning, we need to go beyond that and say learning is a means to accomplishment. My main message is that we have to treat our children differently. We don't respect them enough, we don't appreciate them enough, we don't think they can do enough. So what we do is we give them things to do and we treat them essentially as pets. The end is accomplishment. That's what businesses want. If you go to Google's website, they say, we need people who can get things done. We don't help people get things done through their education. We help them learn and pass tests and roll over and do the kind of things we tell them to do. So when they get into companies, when they get into any business or profession, they start at the bottom. So we need to blend the tradition of thinking, which is the academic tradition, with the tradition of accomplishment, which goes way, way, way back in history. If we put the two traditions together and say that the kids need thinking skills, but also action and relationships, and especially accomplishment skills, instead of measuring how much they've learned, we say, what have you accomplished? Show me your projects that you've been part of. Show me how you have made the world a better place. You can start it at the very bottom, do it all through school. When you get to the university, and now some universities are starting projects, you will be able to do projects on a much, much bigger scale. First, focus on the kids as individuals. Understand what they care about, what their strengths are, what they love to do. The second is put them to work in projects that they choose, that they want to do, that make the world a better place. And the third is really broaden out the set of skills that we ask kids to acquire, or begin to acquire, that they'll need through their whole lifetime, which are the thinking skills, the action skills, the relationship skills, and especially the accomplishment skills. Right now, the world is just starting on this road towards a new paradigm. I see it everywhere in individual teachers and individual schools. I don't see countries doing it yet. It's not top down, it's bottom up. So I see teachers doing it, I see students doing it on their own outside of school, I see organizations like Design for Change, Ashoka, even the IBO, the International Baccalaureate is doing it at the lower levels that are making this available to kids. They grow up to be people who know they can improve the world, who know how to improve the world because that's been their education. And the good part is the kids love it so much. They see themselves making the world better. They come home happy. And hopefully, because of that, their parents will accept this as well as a way to educate. I am essentially an evangelist for a new paradigm of education that I see emerging in the world. I'm not inventing it. I'm curating it. It's very important to spread the word, to give people ideas to go home and think about, because these don't change overnight. I go everywhere. I go everywhere that I can. The more we expose these new ideas, the better it will be. I have one suggestion, which I suggest to everybody. Next year, when somebody signs up, they should have to bring with them a student. I asked last night, there were no people under the age of 20. There were no students. If we had equal numbers of adults and educators and students, then we could have very different conversations and we could hear the perspective of those who we serve.